of nine, a river walk mystery. And it's about the height of the tallest Milwaukee Bucks player. It's managing at times to upstage the bronze fawns. It's a new statue, and somehow it's made its way right there to the Milwaukee River. Our Jeremy Ross has more on what it is and the whole mystery surrounding its artist. We spoke with some city workers this evening who tell us that this statue has been in this one place for about two to three days from now, drawing plenty of criticism and also plenty of curiosity. Of all the things you might find along the Milwaukee River, delivered or deposited, prized or passed over. I've never seen anything like this here before. Not many expected to encounter a mystery this big. It uh, looks like about seven feet to me. This intimidating. Looks like he's up to no good. Or this perplexing. Not sure about this one. Only feet from Milwaukee statue of Arthur Fonzarelli rests a ceramic sculpture. He's uh, looking for Fonzie's approval or something like that. A man in a blue suit and tie, a statue with a stiff upper lip, and even harsher features. I see somebody with some seriously deformed fingers. He's got short legs. It's creative. It's very creative. Without an author or title, the neighbor of the bronze Fonz is called by some the blue who? The blue who? Yeah. I thought maybe the restaurant here had it for some reason. But it doesn't look like it fits the theme of a Chinese restaurant. Definitely has to be some local pranksters. You don't know who left him here? Some wild teenagers on Christmas break or something. Really? How funny. The most unusual part of the art is on the statue's chest. An impression or tattoo revealing a kind of hammer time. <laughs> you have to stop for hammer time. <laughs> I like that. It's funny. But for now, the name, creator, and reason for the art remains a sculpted secret. Don't know what he's doing with his hands. No word this evening from the alderman that represents the specific area that we were talking about. We did speak with an additional alderman, and he tells us he wasn't aware of any plans to put an additional statue in there and says if no formal plans were made, he'd like that art removed. One thing is definitely for certain. If the artist was looking for additional buzz or publicity, well, he or she got it. We're live in downtown Milwaukee, Jeremy Ross, Fox 6